Welcome back students this is your Chendu Gaud I hope you all are waiting for the BEE examination question paper concepts I am going to let you all know certain important topics only I am not going to reveal any type of question in a lengthy manner I'll just give you the topics and please do prepare these questions these are the gunshot questions which I have referred previous year question papers and I have done analysis so I am going to make this video for you all to score a better mark be sure to listen all the points which i am going to let you all know in this concepts today dear students why because i have come up with three to four plans for today's lecture instead of two plans as many students feel that we double e is too difficult and uh, late next to the top m1 in their first year making you all sure that i am going to give you three to four plans make sure that the students who have already done with the preparations you are supposed to revise the concepts which i have listed on the board here and the students who are feeling that i am going to fail in this subject i give you all a confidence that if you prepare for uh, the plan which i am going to let you know and showcase the interest towards the concepts which i let you know you are going to clear this subject at least with a pass mark and the students who are done all with the preparations you are supposed to just revise this concepts before going to start this video as per my <coughs> the observations in the previous three question three courses exams where the students have taken and the supplementary exams in few courses they are skipping the fifth unit dear students make sure like even in the chemistry exam which csc students have taken two days uh, i mean yesterday the fifth unit question is being missing in the question paper whereas they are asking two two questions from the first four units itself so in keeping in that view i am going to let you all know that which are the important topics and what are the different plans you are supposed to work out and do not forget to carry calculator for this exam and also pencils and scales why because all the time the you are going to work out with certain diagrams certain working principle as well as the construction let's enter into the plan a i will let you know some clean plans for today please make sure if you have already done with the preparation it is now <coughs> that i am going to tell you the students who are not yet done with the preparation my plan is all about unit 1 why because from unit 1 we are going to ask two questions for sure keeping in view even the second unit also will be expecting the expecting the two questions or the three questions may be asked from unit 1 and unit 2 and one more unit i'll let you all know is that tree you can go with unit 3 this is my plan a for the students who have already done with the preparations for 1 and 2 and they can go even with the 3 i am not and i am not telling you to work out only 3 if you want to score good marks you can work out either 4 or also 5 but as per the plan i would let you know only the three units dear students here before going to the plan b and plan c let's look at the 1 and 2 as i told that they are mandatory and those two units are very lengthy in its structure as well as they are related with the circuit diagrams as well as the problems the students who did not attend the class and who are not perfect with the concepts of these two units they can skip this that's the plan c i am going to let you know what you are going to work out The first unit is all about the theorems and the problems and certain circuit diagrams. Make sure to listen these concepts. What will be the question one A and B, and what will be the question two A and B? I let you know work out accordingly. The theorems like David. Thevenin's theorem and Norton's as well as the superposition theorem. Out of these three theorems, dear students, you will be getting for sure one or one and a half question and the problems related with these concepts. The problems related with these concepts and that may be direct 10 mark, I mean direct 15 mark, or 10 and 5 split, or the 7 and 8 split. and the later kvl and kcl concepts and related problems is one of the interesting and this is being asked several times from the unit 1 and make sure to work out the problems also on this as well as the time domain analysis of first order rc and rl circuits and make sure that expecting the second question from these concepts and the first question from these concepts dear students i hope if you work out this will be expecting 30 marks or the combination of 1 and 2 may be unit 1 and 2 may be 1 and 1/2 1 and 1/2 also sometimes so keeping in view as per the pattern i take into consideration 1 and 2 will be directly from the unit 1 itself or the 1 and 1/2 question from all the concepts which i have written on the board here 
now let's jump into the unit 2 the unit 2 is all about the single phase ac circuits analysis you are supposed to work out and do not forget to draw your circuit diagrams very neat dear students the evaluator who is going to evaluate your paper will look at the circuit diagram whether it is neat or not and you are supposed to write the working principle of all the concepts in a step by step sequential order i mean you are supposed to write in point wise i have done a video on how to score good marks in the theory subject if you haven't gone to it please go and search in this channel and please go and look at that video how the how the concepts were explained and how the students have written in the paper that all i have been showcased in that paper please go and work out how to write the theory paper and do not forget to draw the diagrams very neat and label them next the connecting r l c r l r c and the problems related to these combinations in series and parallel this is one of the gunshot question it is for sure compulsory 100 percent i can assure you that in series and parallel the concept or as well as the problems whichever i am going to tell here is the first and second unit is all related to the derivations theorems as well as the problem if you are perfect dear students then only you are going to score the mark and do not skip and do not pick pieces and bits from the unit you are supposed to work out the hundred percent then only i can give you an assurance that you are going to clear this subject and do not just pick certain topics from the unit if you are working with any unit please make sure to cover hundred percent concepts whereas i have taken only few topics at least you clear these topics by preparing well for today's and writing in the tomorrow's exam next the star and delta connections is very very important that may be a seven mark question too that may be a seven mark question too i can say you that this may be the third question from in the question paper as per the expectations that may be the third question or the fourth question related to series and parallel methods using a single phase ac circuit the analysis or the problem may be asked for sure we can expect that question and remaining all may be the fourth question dear students keeping in view certain small definitions will be there you are supposed to explain them define them and if there are any diagrams you are supposed to work out and it is a power factor and the star and delta connections and resonance in series r l c circuit is one of the important question very very important after the single phase ac circuit which i am going to start here it means that they are being repeated many times so you are going to work the problems also on this and rms value and alternative quality uh, quantity and the peak value is one of the question which is also being asked several times and the problem on formula of resonance frequency this may be the fourth question keeping in view a and b and do not expect direct 15 mark question because the concepts there are many concepts that are going to make into bits and pieces i mean the splits a b or sometimes a b c also dear students and we can expect the minimum of three or the maximum of four questions from unit two as well as unit one or one and a half question from unit one and the remaining one and a half question from the unit two dear students make sure to practice all this and where i am putting the higher star mark they are very very in important and the gunshot questions which i can give you an assurance that those questions will be coming in tomorrow's exam next i go with the third unit third unit is very small and this is all about there will be less less uh, i mean the problems compared to these two units i mean the remaining units you don't have that much problematic and theorems and derivatives the remaining three units are all related with the theoretical aspect bwe is not completely with the theoretical aspect dear students and it is very easy for you all to score good marks also and you can clear it in a single attempt by studying a minimum of at least two concepts i mean the two units the third unit is all about the construction working principle of single phase transformer auto transformer and the three phase connections important very very important explain in detail about the three phase connection transformer and out of these two you may be expecting at least the one question that may be the fifth question this time i would let you all know that as the third unit is small we can expect only one question whereas the remaining questions in from fifth or as well as fourth and fifth how many questions will be asked i let you all know and the role in selection of 
transformers a regulation and efficiency is one of the very important question very very important question dear students that may be for a seven mark and if any problems related to that and if it is asked from these any of the question a b may be the losses in the transformers that is also very important to cover the complete unit if you look at certain questions like in today's applied physics i mean the supplementary paper they have they are asking the fifth unit question in the third number serial number the fifth question is being asked i mean the fifth unit question is asked in 3 and 4 it doesn't mean that the as per the covid pattern which i have done a video like 1 2 3 units will be six questions and the 4 and 5th will be seventh and eighth question but whereas the pattern is bit changed in its length of this units i mean the concepts if you have more concepts in fifth unit you may be getting two questions also from unit 5 as well as unit 4 and do not expect uh, the two questions from unit 3 so make sure that the plan a is all about one One, two, three, dear students, and the transformers and the losses in the transformers and the other question may be the role in selection of transformers and the regulations in the efficient regulation and efficiency of transform are the very very important concept, dear students. Before going to the fourth and fifth unit, I would let you all know what will be the plan B. The plan B is all about one, two. and four the plan b is all about 1 2 and 4 as i have covered 1 2 i am telling you all that to make sure to cover 1 and 2 who are already done and who are well at the theorems as well as the circuit diagrams so dear students let's jump into the unit 4 the unit 4 is about the motors and the generators so the construction working and principle of three phase induction motor along with the rotating magnetic field it is one of the very very important question which i have highlighted on the top if you are going and looking at the concepts which i am doing from the earlier day of videos i am writing all the important concepts on the top it is not as per the syllabus standard i am writing the important points later related with the induction motor there will be a question on torque and slip characteristics if it may be asked for the 10 mark if it is asked for the 10 mark they may be asking you the alternators a b question along with the diagram along with the diagram i am expecting this time in b double e from fourth unit two questions dear students keeping in view i have prepared this pattern later the synchronous generators is also one of the very important question dear students only one concept is there they may be asking this as the fifth or sixth question in our question paper make sure to work out the synchronous generator along with diagram as well as labeling them later single phase induction motor with respective torque speed characteristics its construction and the working principle dear students if there are any advantages limitations and applications also you are supposed to write in point wise do not write in paragraph wise dear students make sure to use star numbers or star mark the numbers or the letters or any coding and start writing after every point try to leave a line then draw the line i have seen students in today's exam where i have gone for an invigilator they are leaving two two lines after every one line what they write that is very bad dear students it gives you bad marks you are not supposed to leave two to three lines you are supposed to leave after the write up of certain construction a line then put the advantages then list out in points then leave one line and then write the uh, applications and draw the margin that is the way of style you are supposed to work out dear students as for the plan a and plan b i have covered this and expecting two questions from unit 4 next my plan b is plan c is for the students who haven't worked starting preparations i'm getting calls and messages from few students that they haven't start preparations they are waiting for the video that how the pattern which i am going to let them all so that i am going to give you an easy trick for all those students to work out 3 Four and five. The students who did not prepare still with the B double E paper, they can pass for sure. If you are working with three, four, and five year students, making sure that hundred percent, you'll be getting a minimum pass mark without skipping a single concept. Why? Because 
3, 4, 5 is all about 80% of the theory. Can't you read the theory question dear students? You can do that and there are only few diagrams also you can work out. Whereas coming to the fifth unit, it is all about the theoretical aspect. I have listed out the first question here is that is very very important one as per the components of the LT switch gear is FU, MCB, LCEB, MMCB and their uses and specifications also. Do not skip a single title from these concepts. So please work out this. This may be the fifth unit question. You are going to show pass this exam. You have one day to work out. Please dear students, you are supposed to clear this subject and do not maintain a backlog in this subject. Later, there are wires and cables and its types. You can put this all in. You can read once and you can write it on your own and cross check your answers. Make sure to write neat handwriting dear students. Later batteries and their types and the characteristics as well as the back of the batteries is also one of the seven mark question from the unit 5. Make sure to work out later the class construction and working of plate earthing is asked few times but I feel that this question may be coming in tomorrow's paper. Why? Because most students won't be working out this. Keeping in view the JNQ is giving certain unimportant questions also. Why? Because most of the students are focusing on only few points. My expectation is that the question may be from the components either or batteries or the plate earth thing. These may be the sure questions from unit 5 dear students. If they are asking from unit 5, if they are not skipping, they will be asking for sure these questions. If as like engineering chemistry, if they are skipping unit 5, you need to work out for sure any two units 100% perfect. Later, the final thing I have taken is energy consumption, I mean the calculations. A small calculations will be there. Dear students, hope you have gone with the plan A. It is all about 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 4 is plan B and 3, 4, 5 is for the students who did not start their preparations. Please do this and do not forget to write the concept as per the videos which I have done earlier. Please go through the concepts and do not forget to carry the set of pens, pencils, eraser, sharpener as well as the scale and the calculator too. Why? Because it makes your work faster. Hope you have understood the concepts which I have told for today and do not forget to work out as per the plan which I have given on the board. To get a better mark, your diagrams to be neat and your handwriting to be neat and the answer to be written in a step by step sequence students students and do not write in paragraphs and draw only the draw the diagrams only in pencil and do not array I mean do not uh, strike off too dark if something goes wrong in the answer booklet just just strike off or put it in the bracket I see many students if something is going wrong they are going to strike off and making a bit blunder in the mistake so that that adds a bad impression so that do not do like this if something goes wrong just strike off the pencil and do this once the BWE question has come dear students to you what you are supposed to do is please go through the complete question paper and the, all the concepts will be the similar to the top this with some different like explain or write in detail and briefly write down or the differences between or the define the term so what you are supposed to do is go on tick which questions you know and go back to the last page of the booklet 32 page and then work out the circuits first whichever you know later copy them in the answer booklet from the starting page then start writing this saves your time and do not uh, do not draw directly the diagrams where if you something goes wrong you are on erasing your paper may tear off hope you like the structure which I have framed for you for BWE and hoping that all my students are going to work out accordingly and clear this subject in the first attempt. Hope you all are liking my videos and do comment in the comment section after taking the exam and if you read any other subjects please try to comment in the comment section. Hope you are going to share and subscribe my channel and please do share with your friends too. Good luck and God bless you all and thumbs up. Thank you.